So I'm here with uh, Fenton from DT Baits. We've been going through the range. Uh, obviously, we've been taking a look at the different kind of aromas and smells and flavours of the uh, the ranges that you guys do. Um, so we're going to make you talk about another one all the way through again. But we've got the uh, the peach and sour cream. So these are the shelf life boilies. Yeah. Again, available in frozen as well. Yeah. And the one kilogram pouches that we've got here, but also the five kilogram bags. That's right. Yes. Perfect. Fifteen mil here and eighteen mil. Yeah. Excellent, so what makes these ones different? Okay, so these are predominantly a fish meal bait and the we call the base mix pucker fish base mix. Yeah. It's not actually only used for the peach and sour cream, but it's also used for the oily chicken that we'll come on to. Yeah. Um, What's so good about the peach and sour cream is it's been developed especially for silty waters. Right, okay. Now the peach is a very strong peach, as you've just smelt. Yeah. <laughs> and the sour cream we actually make in-house ourselves. Fantastic. And it's got components in it such as imbutric acid and diacetyl, which is again very good in silt. Yep. So when your bait has been out in the lake for a long time, sitting on silt, you can bring it in, you've got that horrible pungent yep. smell, yeah, and you your boy, it <laughs> doesn't smell like it did before you put it out. With the peach and sour cream, you'll bring it back in and you'll still get that peach punching through the silt. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I found that before if you're fishing, because you smell it as soon as you bring it in, like you're, and you're fishing on silt, and it sticks. So you can go with sprays, you could try and actually put another additive onto it to try and make it smell, but it never smells quite the same. Yeah, that's right. So this would be a great kind of solution if you're fishing silty water. That's right. Yeah. And this, this base mix has actually been out with DT close on 20 years now. Yeah. Um, so it's been proven time and time again. And in fact, you know, we've got pockets of customers that will only use peach and sour cream wherever they go in the world with it. Yeah, as you say, just because it, it works well on kind of silty lakes, it doesn't only need to be. Oh fish no, on lakes. So that, that kind of aroma and the strength of the smell must, must yeah. be useful kind of anywhere that you fish. That's right. Yeah, That's would right. you use a more winter or summer? No, predominantly, Predominantly once we've got through the cold weather, once yep. the water temperatures have come up um, through the spring, through summer, and then as soon as you start seeing the water temperatures drop again, you really need to be coming off of fish meal base. Yep, and that's when you move to something like your cold water green beast. Or the super fruit. The, yep, you fish those through those, right. those colder water, colder yeah. months. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, much like you've seen in our other bait ranges, I will just show you. It, you know, they're not they're not a smooth bait. They have got seeds going through it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And um, the the idea of that is it will leach out the goodness out the the goodness of the bait yep. a lot quicker than something that isn't that's all smooth. Yeah, it's just um, got those little areas, the pockets within it where it's that's slightly right. easier for it to escape. And also it allows you to glug them and it yep. will take liquids on a lot better because it's got more of a porous outer to it. Yeah, so it's adding that kind of the quality side of the actual bait, making sure it does what you need it to do. That's when you're right. The bank. That's right, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, that is the uh, peach and sour cream boilies from DT Baits. Mm -hmm.